recently gained information from the drilling and completion of the MPG No. 1 Winters Modisette well indicates that formation damage introduced while drilling may have also affected this area in general. Some wells have produced substantial reserves in short periods of time while many others have performed relatively poorly. The focus of this project is to stimulate increased production from the subject well by sand fracturing past the damage zone surrounding the well bore. Success in the subject well will lead to multiple opportunities to re-enter wells, plug and abandon in the area, and perform similar stimulations. All right, this, these are our two supervisors over here. He's going to be running the blender and uh, washing our sand and all our additives. Yeah, your blender is, is, is that that is where your sand, propant, and your carrying medium is going to be mixed together. Yes, ma'am. Fluid and propant meat, and then uh, we're going to boost it to our pumps, and it's going to get pressurized and go down home with it from there. And then uh, this gentleman right here is going to be running the pumps. Uh, he's going to be in charge of running the pumps and making sure things are right with those. And this is our engineer. The job he's going to be. This is Cody. Cody, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be running the job from engineering aspects, so making sure that our fluids are being pumped properly, that we're getting the accurate cross-link time, and uh, basically just quality control on the fluids. In. And have you got an ability from where you are to either slow down the pumping or speed it up, or change the concentration from, from, from who is able to change those things as we do the step? We can have uh, one of our supervisors over there change it. Um, and uh, what I'll be doing is monitoring the uh, chemicals and then checking the straps. So we'll be looking at the micro motion flow meters along with uh, calling out and getting visual straps on what's going down. And uh, as long as those are matching up and our crosslink time looks good, then we'll be okay. If we need to make adjustments on the fly, I can call it out to the uh, blender operator or, and both the supervisors over here. And they are the ones who actually make the changes. Okay. So you're doing the monitoring, these guys are actually controlling what happens. Change needs to happen, you can you can change the rate, change the concentrations, and do what needs to be done to make sure that the sand is being pumped away without a screen out. Because that's the most important thing here, guys, is that we get the sand put away without screen out, as that would be very uh, you know, kind of devastating to the project if we don't get the sand in the formation. So uh, that's the whole purpose of the ball sealers. And one of my concerns was that the uh, ball sealers that they were loading in the gun towards the end were degraded. Uh, I'm just sure, you know, the, the ones that went in previously, I think we have all good ball sealers in there now. They're about to load degraded ones, so uh, those wouldn't have sealed for us. I'm, I think that we're okay on that now. And uh, so uh, two, two sand uh, frat jobs are never the best way to go about doing it, but. In this particular case, we didn't have any choice, and hopefully it'll work to our advantage where we end up with two uh, zones that will contribute to the overall stream of production and you know, make for a, a total improved flow rate. That's what we're hoping for. These in the QA, that's, these are going to be catching real-time samples and monitoring pH, crossing time, uh, viscosity, and all that of our, of our samples and fluid going down home. Very good. So you've got a little laboratory there in the back.